Testament reading that's assigned for this coming Sunday. It's about Elijah after his miracle with the prophets of Baal. Now Ahab told Jezebel everything Elijah had done and how he had killed all the prophets with the sword. So Jezebel sent a messenger to Elijah to say, May the gods deal with me, be it ever so severely, if by this time tomorrow I do Lord, he said, take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the tree and fell asleep. All at once, an angel touched him and said, get up and eat. He looked around and there by his head was a cake of bread baked over hot coals and a jar of water. He ate and drank and lay down again. The angel of the Lord come back a second time and touched him and said, Our reading. That story about Elijah gives me comfort. It gives me comfort because we see Elijah at his weakest human point. And it looks a whole lot like me. Calls to the prophet Elijah in front of all Israel, raining down fire from heaven and then breaking. God, they've seen his power, they're going to follow him, and King Ahab will finally listen and do what's right. But that's not what happened. Instead, Jezebel, the king's wife, threatened his life, and Elijah had to make a run. And it came down to this, a tired, old, beaten man laying under a tree, wishing that he were dead. But God was still there, even in Elijah's defeat and even in the quietness of his despair. But this time it wasn't in brilliant glory of fire rained down from heaven. Instead, it was something very quiet and simple. Bread and water. A little food and something to drink. Not much, but it was enough. So Elijah ate and drank and slept some more. Being sad and afraid and unable to see beyond his present condition, his present troubles, his present place in life. God didn't say to him, Elijah, where's your faith? No, God was gentle with him. And he gave him the basics he needed. The basics he needed to get back up again. God gave him time and rest, and the grace to recover. 
He does that for us also. If you're in a bad place, don't worry that God's going to yell at you or tell you that you're too weak or tell you that your faith isn't strong enough. Do what Elijah did. Just humbly come before God and tell him your troubles. Tell him the truth about how you feel, what your fears are, what your troubles are, what you're thinking in your head. And then see what he does. The God who gave his own life for you so that you could be his own as promised to not abandon you. He will not leave you. The one who rose from the dead will raise you up also. Let us pray. Lord, sometimes I'm broken. When I'm broken and sad and despair, Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The song I have chosen for today is one that will be very familiar to you. Rock of Ages, Cleft for Me, where that talks about hiding in God and his love and letting him fight our battle. Rock of ages, clap for me. Let the water and the blood from thy ribbon side which flowed be of sin the double cure. Cleanse me from its guilt and power. Nothing in my hand I bring. Simply to thy cross I cling. Naked come to thee for dress. Help us look to thee for grace. Foul I to the fountain fly. Wash me, Savior, or I die. Psalm 34, the first eight verses were... David praises God for answering his prayers and all times the praise of God shall ever be in my mouth. I will glory in the Lord. Let the lowly hear and rejoice. Proclaim with me the greatness of the Lord. faces be ashamed. I called in my affliction, and the Lord heard me and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear the Lord and delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Happy are they who take refuge in the Lord. through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept us this night from all harm and danger, and we pray that you would keep us also this day from sin and every evil, that all of our doings in life may please you, for into your hands we commend ourselves, our body and souls and all things. Let your holy angel be with us, that the evil foe
May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you always. Amen. Thanks for taking the time to be with us today. May God bless you as you continue your week. We here at Redeemer chose and decided at our council meeting on Monday night to pull back a little bit in life in light of the COVID uptick that we've been seeing. And uh, we are now suggesting the wearing of masks inside for worship and other inside.